Hi, I'm Nick with LED Inspirations, and today we're learning how to initialize a Kasambi system. In the last video, we talked about setting up the network. In this video, we're going to talk about adding in the different fixtures. And so, open up your Kasambi app, make sure all the Kasambi fixtures were turned off, and then go ahead and turn them on. You can turn them on one at a time, or you can turn them all on. I just turned on the demo board and you can immediately see that the screen shows all five fixtures. These correspond to the five specialty tape light fixtures on our demo board over here. And it asks you to add them all to the demo, which is the network we set up in the last video. Uh, don't do that. What we want to do instead is we want to go back and add them one at a time because we want to change the profile. When you pair a Kasambi module or a Kasambi light fixture to the app, it needs to be paired with the proper profile it'll default to RGBW, but we have all different types of specialty tape light on the board, and so I'm gonna show you how to change those and what the settings are. So first we're gonna to go to My Networks. We're gonna to go to Demo, which was set up in the last video. And then it says, Show Nearby Devices. And so at this point, it's gonna list all five. And so notice that they all say CBU PWM4 RGBW, that's the default profile. We're gonna change it to the proper profile. So I'm gonna to touch the first one in the list and I'm gonna say identify device. You're gonna see one of, the, one of the fixtures on the board start blinking, it's the second one. That happens to be our Inspire V5 um, RGB 4.0. And so uh, we wanna change the profile to an RGB device. And so I'm gonna to touch that again. The first one I'm gonna say change profile and we're gonna come down here. Here's all the different options of profiles for the modules. We're gonna change it to the CBU PWM4 RGB. And then it's gonna say start update. What's happening right now is through Bluetooth, the iPhone is sending the proper profile to the module. And so update successfully. And so we're gonna go back. And now we're gonna select that device again now that it's the right profile and we're gonna say add to demo. So what that does is that pairs the device once the profile has been set. Again, you, want, you need to change the profile before it's added to the network because once it's in the network, you can't change it. You would have to unpair it, which it's simple to do. I'm just gonna touch that uh, device. Uh, the first one, see it says unpair device. That's how you would unpair it if you wanna change the profile again. I'm gonna hit cancel. We're gonna work our way through all the remaining ones. Each type of specialty tape light we sell is on the board, so you're gonna see the settings for each one of those as we go through. We're gonna identify the next device. So it's blinking, that happens to be the third one. That's our RGB 5, uh, 6.0. That's our high density tape light. Notice there's no dots under the lens. So we're gonna change that also to RGB. So we're gonna select that, change profile. We're gonna slide down here to RGB. We're gonna select that, start update. And we're gonna update that one. You can see that that updated. We're gonna go back and now we're gonna add that to our demo. So I'm gonna select it again. It opens the menu. We're gonna add the demo and now the second one is added. At this point, we'd actually start controlling these fixtures. We're gonna go ahead and add all of them first though. We're gonna select the third one, identify device. Let's take a look at the board. Notice the fourth fixture is blinking. That is the um, our specialty tape light RGBW, but we don't want to use the RGBW profile. We actually want to use the RGB slash W profile because what that does is it allows us to control the white separately, which is what we want to do. So I'm going to select that one again. I'm going to say change profile. We're going to go down here and notice there's an RGB slash white. That is the profile you want to use for our RGBW. We're going to hit start update. And that's now set up. We're now gonna go back. We're gonna select that one and we're gonna add it to demo. We're gonna select the fourth one in the list, identify device. Notice the last one is blinking. That's LED Inspiration's tunable white, specialty tape light. So we're gonna select that, change profile. And we're gonna slide down here to uh, CBU PWM4 Tunable White, TW. We're gonna select that, start update. Notice it blinks, that confirms that it found it. We're gonna go back, we're gonna add that to the demo. Notice it's the, they go from saying unpaired like the last one 
to at demo, which means it's now part of our network. Let's go ahead and do the last one, identify device. This should be the first one should start blinking. This is our Inspire V5 3000K. Um, and so that's just a single color. Uh, the Kasambi system can control single color. Uh, so we're gonna, I'll show you how it does that. Change profile. And the very first one you can see 1x dim. So it's, it's using one channel for just normal dimming of a single color tape light. You can also do two channels, three channels, four channels. You can have different runs of single color. You can call us and we'll explain how to do that. But I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna start update. And this'll, this'll change our last module here. Back. Then we're gonna go in here one more time. We're gonna add it to the demo. At this point, we have just added all five fixtures and now we can begin to controlling them. If we go back, we now have five fixtures all in, uh, uh, all loaded into the Kasambi app. We can turn them all off, we can turn them all on, we can dim them up, down. I'll explain how to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.